Hey, I'm Mark Edward Lewis, and welcome to Cinema Sound Studio B. Dialogue cleanup is important, but dialogue mixing is even more important. And creating that nice, easy blend of dialogue that's seamlessly so smooth, you don't even realize that you spent a week of your life making it sound great. And there are some basic methods that we use that are, that are good, and there are some plugins that help us with this. I'm going to show you a couple of items that make dialogue mixing so much easier, including some plugins from our friends at Waves Audio. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We're here in the Blade of Honor mix, where we have tons and tons of dialogue all over the place, and we spent a long time trying to figure out how to get it smooth so that we could control it in the mix. And although you can always use a fader to push things up and down and, of course, keyframes, it's really not a very natural way of doing things. It doesn't create a very natural result. We want to use plugins like a compressor or other plugins, perhaps even a limiter, to create sort of an automatic hand on those faders and creating great results. Uh, we're going to use a plugin from our friends at Waves Audio called the R Compressor or the Renaissance Compressor. And a compressor by itself is super useful. It does a great job. Here's these, a scene with Tim Russ and Richard Hatch by themselves, sort of au natural. There's EQ on it, but uh, no dynamic contouring. Unpredictable. I'm not one of your followers. Your flowery manipulations will not work on me. You haven't reported anything in weeks. You have entrusted me with a sizable task, Admiral. I only ask that you allow me to execute it without interference. It isn't my intention to interrupt your efforts, nor to... And it sounds fine. We've done the cleaning already. But, it, you know, there's, there's a lot of dynamic kind of... Uh, 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 that, this kind of thing going on. And, you know, we, we want to be able to tame that if we can. So we're going to instantiate this R compressor by unbypassing it for Richard's voice. Unpredictable. I'm not one of your followers. You your see flowery working? manipulations will not work on me. You have now, just that right there, take a listen with it off. Unpredictable. I'm not one of your followers. Your flowery manipulations will not work on me. You haven't reported anything. In Especially the word, you haven't reported anything. That's a really kind of a drag, punchy thing. Turn it back on. Unpredictable. I'm not one of your followers. Your flowery manipulations will not work on me. You haven't reported anything in weeks. It really brings it under control in a nice way. And the settings that I'm using are here. I'm using its uh, automatic control over the timings of attack and release um, and uh, a few other cool things under the hood. I'm using Opto and Smooth, a reasonably slow attack at 70 milliseconds and a reasonably slow release at 132. I'm using a simple two to one ratio. And then the threshold is pretty deep into the sound. Unpredictable. I'm not one of your followers. Your flowery manipulations will not work on me. You haven't reported anything in weeks. But I'm getting sort of a minus three on the average uh, reduction in the compressor, all the way down to maybe minus eight, uh, an eight decibel reduction when he gets loud. Unpredictable. I'm not one of your followers. Your flowery manipulations will not work on me. You haven't reported anything in weeks. And you can hear a little pumping going on when he goes, you know, you haven't reported, you haven't. And, then, and the compressor releases a little long and it stays out there a little too long and we get that kind of pumping. So let's reduce the timing just a little bit on this release. Unpredictable. I'm not one of your followers. Your flowery manipulations will not work on me. You haven't reported anything in weeks. That's pretty good. If we do anything else, we'll get kind of reverse pumping, and that's also kind of not, kind of a drag. So this could work. But one of the cool things that you can do is add, you know, two. Why have one when you can have two for the same price? So we've added another uh, R compressor right after the first R compressor. Now look at the difference in these settings. Basically, slightly slower attack. Yeah, I'll put them both together. There's 70. This one's at 81. This is 94. This one's at 168. And the threshold is far deeper into the sound. And I've used this gain to send the sound a little bit louder to this compressor. So it's actually deep, much deeper than this one. The ratio is roughly the same. And then the final output gain. But I'm using electro and warm, which very subtly changes how the algorithm messes with the sound here and uh, the uh, automatic control here. So let's see what happens when we turn this on. Unpredictable. I'm not one of your followers. Your flowery manipulations will not work on me. You haven't reported anything in weeks. It sort of really helps kind of smooth what was maybe sort of smooth, but now 
definitely smooth. And the release is probably a little too long. That you know that it's definitely pumping a little bit to there on the loudness part. So we'll bring it down a little more. See how we do. Unpredictable. Well, I'm not one of your followers. Your flowery manipulations will not work on me. You haven't reported anything in weeks. Ooh, super smooth. Let's turn them both off and remember what it sounded like before. Unpredictable. Well, I'm not one of your followers. Your flowery manipulations will not work on me. You haven't reported anything. In and there's actually even a little bit of pumping in the, the actual recording from whatever wireless microphone that uh, happened there is a little compression. And we've smoothed that out with both of these in series. Unpredictable. Well, I'm not one of your followers. Your flowery manipulations will not work on me. You haven't reported anything in weeks. So nice. Now, this is our compressor, and you can use any compressor, really, to do this kind of thing in series, but the R compressor is a nice, really warm and smooth way of dealing with full band compressors. This thing that you've been looking at, wondering what in the world this is, is sort of the next generation in dealing with dialogue smoothness. It's not a compressor at all. It's sort of a literal hand, automatic hand on a fader, pushing things up and down. And what a compressor will do is bring sounds down once they get to a certain level level, but they'll never push something louder. But this absolutely will. This is the vocal writer from Waves Audio, and it's, well, I've put it on Tim's voice. Let's go to the next line, this which is Tim. Work on me. You haven't reported anything in weeks. You have entrusted me with a sizable task, Admiral. I only ask that you allow me to execute it without interference. It is and we actually kind of lose some of his lines that, that get low volume. And so while we want some dynamic compression over the, the loudness, we also want some sort of a decompression, if you will, from the lows to be brought up. And that's one of the things that's really cool about this. I'll turn it on here and you'll see what I mean. Look at that, it even moves when I turn it on. This will not work on me. You haven't reported anything in weeks. You have entrusted me with a sizable task, Admiral. I only ask that you allow me to execute it without interference. It is. You hear every syllable now. In fact, we'll scroll forward here to another couple extra lines that we've got Let me going ask on. that you allow me to execute it without interference. It is in my... And without is a little bit louder, and so you see it drop down. And you can control this with range. So if you really need some wide messing with the sound, you can make these go way out here, and the fader will move a Let lot more. Let me ask that you allow me to execute it without interference. It is a it's a little too much for us as we move down the scene. It actually works here. But you have a how fast and slow does it respond? And you can have it be sensitive in one kind of algorithm or another kind of algorithm, depending on the type of voice. And obviously this works for music too. And then the final output gain. But using these two kinds of disciplines to smoothing out your dialogue is a really great way of making, <laughs> from the department to the redundancy <laughs> department, smooth dialogue. And you can use them interchangeably depending on what you, you know, what you're, what's going on. And if you have a really dynamic situation, you can actually add these two plugins in series and this one after it or flip it put the vocal writer at the beginning and then two compressors after that just be careful that when you're doing that you're going to get a lot more sibilance and you may need to add uh, a de -esser as well which of course waves has we worked on blade of honor for a lot of months and the dialogue was very difficult for us to balance for a lot of reasons but using these plugins in the right way and in the the, the right organization and of course using automation and all the standard stuff makes life so much easier, right? And you can get discounts on Waves Audio plugins by being an MZ Pro member. And you want to be an MZ Pro member anyway. It's so incredible. Until then, we'll see you in post.